I wanna like this bag. I really wanna like this bag. Lord knows every person who sees me with this bag loves it. I mean, look at it. It's practically a work of art. And you haven't even seen the inside yet. It's going to blow your mind. And there are a lot of things I love about this bag and a few things I don't. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the Peak Design Everyday Tote Pack so you can decide if you want to love it or leave it. Are you ready? All right. I'm Nora Dunn. I'm otherwise known as the professional hobo. I also love travel gear and bags and luggage, and I've had a chance to try out a number of bags. Peak Design made a name for itself by designing ingenious bags and gear for photographers. A number of years ago, they crossed over into travel bags and luggage, and between their clever design features, the durability, the use of recycled materials, and sustainable, responsible practices, they are leaders in the space. And as soon as I saw the everyday tote pack, I was in love. I mean, seriously, look at it. <laughs> it's part of their everyday line of bags, which includes the everyday sling at three, six, and 10 liters, the everyday messenger, which is 13 liters, the everyday tote, which is 15 liters, the everyday backpack zip, which is 15 and 20 liters, the everyday backpack, which is 20 and 30 liters, and this one, the everyday tote pack at 20 liters, but technically 25 liters. I'll explain in a minute. First, let's walk through it. The padded backpack straps are sleek and super duper comfortable, like amazingly comfortable. They're adjustable and the extra straps don't dangle on the bottom the way many bags do. They actually just stow away beautifully. Now, why would you stow the backpack straps, you ask? Well, to use the beautiful padded hand carry straps, of course. Well, this is great in theory. This brings up my first criticism of the bag. The hand straps aren't actually very practical. There's this magnetic tab that in theory holds the straps together so they look gorgeous. But in between the overall shape of the bag and the strength of the magnet, it doesn't really hold. Now, of course it does right now, but of course this is because I'm recording a video for you. In the last month, it has not held. Here's why. Part of the reason why the hand straps don't work is because of this top bit, which is both amazing and meh. It folds down roll top style. And this is what is considered the extra space. This is like an extra five liter of space, bringing it to 25 liters. Thing is, normally speaking, this top does not stay rolled down, even when it's practically empty. And this leaves very little actual space for the hand to go through and carry the hand straps. All right, let's keep going. There are three ways to get into this bag. Through the top, which has a magnetic clasp, as well as a sturdy waterproof zipper. Unlike this magnet on the handle, the magnet on the top actually does a really great job of keeping the bag closed. You can also get to the contents from each of the sides of the bags through these zippers here. This is handy in so many ways, including being able to access the contents of the bag while you're still wearing it on your back. You can just slide it off one shoulder and get at like a bottle of water or a camera lens, for example. For security, the side zips can be secured at the bottom of the bag. The built-in pockets inside include a sleeve that will fit a 15-inch laptop as well as a 12-inch tablet. Uh, it's sleek, it's simple, and it does the trick. But Nora, you say, is that it? Is there nothing else inside this bag? Haha, -ha, hang on to your hats. Things are gonna get real crazy here. These are Peak Designs Flex Fold Dividers. They allow you to totally customize the inside of your everyday tote. Each divider has super strong Velcro on each side, and you can put one or both of them in the bag horizontally to create shelves or vertically to create dedicated access ports. You can make them flip into further compartmentalize your stuff. Uh, you can really compartmentalize this to your heart's desire. There's so many different ways you can do. I, I actually found it a little overwhelming. Like there's so many things I could do with these two dividers that it actually took quite a bit of uh, finagling to figure out what the best system for my stuff would be. But let me tell you the flexibility of using these dividers in this way and being able to make the bag uniquely yours, given the stuff that you want to carry, 
I, is really quite amazing. I took this on a six week trip as my personal item and day pack and I used the dividers mostly vertically, sometimes with one or both flaps in use. I could access the stuff in the center from the top of the pack and I access the stuff at the sides through each of these side zips or the top, depending on what I did with these little flappy flaps. Honestly, these flex fold dividers are utter genius. They allow you to customize the everyday tote pack to be whatever you want it to be. They're also really sturdy and they're a bit padded. So if you're a photographer, these flippy things are perfect for camera lenses and such. Here's my challenge. And frankly, it's almost a little too petty to mention, but it gets me, so I'm gonna say it. They're a pain in the butt to put in and take out. Like the Velcro is super strong, which it should be, honestly, it's amazing. But arranging the dividers is frankly more finicky than I generally have patience for. That said, you shouldn't need to rearrange them all the time. Once you have your system in place and you've customized the inside of the bag to your liking, you could just leave them in there. That's ultimately what I ended up doing and it worked pretty well. Now, that's it for the inside of the bag. On the outside, you have this zipped pocket right here with uh, some stretchy pockets for some small items, but really small, like pack of gum kind of small. If you have extra stuff that you wanna carry and no room to carry it, the Everyday Tote Pack has you covered with these two carry straps that can be configured a bunch of different ways on the bag, and they click into specially designed hooks and loops and it, they actually hook in a really satisfying way, I might add, it's kind of a thing. <laughs> they can go on the front like this, they can go on the bottom, crossed over for like a yoga mat, they could go over the top in a variety of ways. I tend to leave them on the bag like this because I think they look good. And then when I have a jacket that I don't wanna wear, I can totally and easily and securely stow it. Okay, here's my last beef with this bag. It's not a huge bag by any stretch, in fact, I, I think it's the perfect size for an under the seat personal item when flying. It stores all of my electronics, valuables, meds, water bottle, and more. But even when it's empty, like right now, it looks pretty full. Like it, this bag remains stubbornly one size all the time. <laughs> Much as this is a criticism, criticism, I guess it's also a compliment because it speaks to the durability of the material and the overall construction. It's made from 100% recycled 400D weatherproof nylon canvas that's DWR impregnated and double PU coated. The bottom is made from 900D waterproof material, so it's solid, it's secure, it will stand the test of time. From an environmental perspective, Peak Design is dialed in. They're a certified B Corp. They're a member of 1% for the planet. They're Blue Sign certified. They're a member of multiple carbon offset and climate action organizations. They co-founded climate neutral uh, nonprofit. They have factory codes of conduct for fair wages with official standards for worker treatment, pay, safety, conditions. They're fair trade certified. They used recycled materials and they specifically develop durable products with longer life cycles. Honestly, I may have started this video on a bit of a dubious note about this bag, but the truth is after going through the everyday tote pack with you, I reminded myself of how awesome it is and like I said, I always get compliments on it. Not like I need the compliments, but <laughs> you know, it never hurts. I'm Nora Dunn and thank you for watching. Check the description or the show notes for the links to this bag and other Peak Design products as well, gear reviews, and a, a, a special freebie just for you. Also, if you got value from this review, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now.